What's up everybody, Cam from Audi C7 Owners. Today I'm gonna to be swapping my old start stop button out with an S6 start stop button. So if you wanna know how to do this, stick around, I'll show you how. All right, so we're replacing our original OEM start stop button because you can see this one is just in horrible condition. And in fact, the silver kind of metal trim that covers and has start stop written on it, it came off and it even cut my finger one time and I bled all over the place. So I got an OEM S6 one, that's what we're gonna be installing today. You can get the cheap knockoff ones off of Amazon and eBay if you want to. I'll try and find some links, I'll put them in the description below, but they'll all install the same way. So let's get to it, this will be a fast one. This is a super simple DIY for you guys to do. You only need a pry tool of some kind. Uh, you can see I've got some masking tape on this one just to protect my trim a little bit more. But you wanna start by just digging in here on the side and popping up this shift boot. Once you get it up, you just wanna pull it up kind of out of the way here. After that, we're gonna reach up to the front here and just pull the front of our MMI console up. And you're gonna do it on both sides, just two little clips. Pull it up a good amount of ways there. It gives you about a centimeter maybe a couple centimeters worth of space there. Once you get that done, you're gonna reach underneath here and just push up on your old start stop button, pull it out. Once you get there, there's a cool little tab here that you're gonna press down and pull off the old start stop button. Then we're going to grab the new one. We're going to install it. I'll try and do this one handed for you guys. And I accidentally started the car or turn the power on. so. Got that, you can see, nice and shiny, start, stop. Orient it the correct way. You're gonna push it back into the hole. There's only one way to go in there, just make sure you get it oriented correctly. Push down, you'll probably turn the car on and off a couple times while you try and get this fitted correctly. Just keep your foot off the brake and it won't turn on the car. So that's all in. Now, we just drop the MMI console back down, press it down tight, take your shift boot, put it back into place. And if you need to, you can turn on the accessory power Shift the car back a little bit. Push your shift boot back down all the way around. Make sure it's nice and secure. And you're done. Once you're done with this, test the button, make sure it works. And that's it. 